What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today uh, I did a little bit of cleaning up my storages and I also wanted to see what it was like my, all my guildies who do like bartering and sailing. So I went to do that a little bit today and I was like dang I was out there for about like three hours just trying to do the whole barter system and my god it's actually kind of boring but <laughs> I'm glad like I got the Gallius already so that made it a little bit easier I cleaned up my storage for all my bartering materials and this is what it looks like now it's still kind of messy but I put all the trade items over here and uh, just take them out wherever I can't like one thing I don't really understand how people or like what people do it's how they go to Hawk of an Island four times a day or like every four hours at least to do the trade in over here. Like, dear God, I know it's a lot of coins, but did you guys know that there's like an invisible wall around this area? So it's not like you can go to Hawk of an Island and just sail into the ocean upwards. No, there's an invisible wall. So you have to go backwards if you want to go back into the ocean. Or you can go downwards into Arihaza, which is not really what we want to do. So that was something we learned. And, um, yeah. So what are we going to do today? We got some Rift Bosses. Luckily, these aren't in, like, stupid spots, so. Yeah, let me see. Oh, got our rewards from war today. Oh, we got four of them. Nice. So from what we heard in the Taiwan server, um, so next week, or actually January 8th, we, we already know that we're getting Sork and Zerker succession, right? And then the week after, I think is Lan and DK, and then on the 15th is uh, Guardian pre-creation, and then 22nd is Guardian release, so I'm not sure if they're doing Succession that day, but after that one, I think it's Wizard and Witch, and then at the end of the month would probably be Striker Mystic, but that's from the Taiwan server announcement. We don't know what it's like on NA and EU, so let's see, what do we want to do? Um... can't really say I want to do either of these, but we should... Alright. But yeah, after we get back, we can blow up a little bit of gear. Um, I don't know. Today's the last day of... Well, hold on. Tomorrow... Today is Monday. Maintenance... Oh, wait. Okay, so tomorrow is the last day of the Christmas music in this game. Like, it's January 7th, dude. Let the music, Christmas music stop. It's over. But yeah, so, um, Sorks. Oh god, what is that? Oh, sh. Luckily, I had a Pegasus, so, like, it wouldn't have been that bad if I missed the jump, but that's okay. I don't, like, where am I? I don't remember being here, ever. Well, that's another way to get from to our objective. I know where we are now. Um, they're all just going to attack my stuff anyway, my horse anyway. So, what the heck, it didn't even spawn. Nice.
hit through super armor. Ever since they gave everyone a hundred crown stones today, I've just been seeing like pens being hit for the past like four hours. Nice. Ogre ring? It's not an ogre ring, but I'll take it. How much do I care about 700k? I want that 700k. That's going towards tax. Alright. Um, one more and then we can go enhance some gear. If we could just one tap our way to pen tree right now, that would be excellent. Oh god, how do I get over there? Ooh, it's purple. You know, okay, so one question in terms of, for all of you who are like, who know the lore of this game. So you know how all MMOs have like the overworld, like the world has a name. I have like no idea what this is for Black Desert. All right, so let me see, hold on. Any bosses soon? Kudum in 20 minutes. Uh, how much do we care about Kudem? Not really. So one thing I was thinking about doing is, I don't know how I want to do this. So once I hit Tet on my dim tree, should we just cron it or should we keep enhancing it? Because my thought is I could cron my main one, but it has level three capris in it, so if it does go to pen, I'm losing about, I don't know, two billion worth of capris. Which is not a great feeling. But it goes to pen, which is it makes up for it. Or, since we have a backup, just keep clicking that, and then whenever that goes up, we just sell it. And then put the capers into the new one. Dude, I wish they didn't have, like, long animations. Forward guard. Why does this even exist? In second phase. Ogre ring? Oh, dang, I thought I, that was actually a, uh, I thought that was a duo Eye of the Ruins. 
feels bad. That's not what we want. Well, we didn't get cron stones, so that's okay. Why are these going up in price? I kind of like, I forgot we had a house in Velia, to be honest. I remember I bought this and then we moved all our characters to uh, Heidel. Dang, I look like one of those crazy pet owners. You know how like everyone makes fun of those crazy cat ladies who just like the old lady with like 15 cats I assume this is how it look like except <laughs> you don't let your bird run around the house All right, anyway, cool. Forgot that existed. Let's go back to Heidel and let's go enhance stuff. No, oh, you know what? Just screw it. kind of weird how it follows you that far, but, you know, I'll take it. Does anything sell? No! Turn on alert sound. Sure. Alert me when something sells. I would love to hear it. Oh dang it, it's 11 at night in game. That means I can't buy heave helms from the vendor, and it's fine. I'm probably not gonna be doing too much enhancing. What the heck, someone dude just hit a pen grunnel. Feels bad. All right, so let's see. What are we actually enhancing? What stacks do I have of sixty two? Oh, we should probably use some energy. It's nighttime. I can night vendor a little bit. Could always use more black stones. Kind of wish they didn't put the Night Vendor dude so far out in the middle of nowhere in Heidel, but that's fine. Yikes. Two point seven sharps, I think those are worth.
I heard a ding sound. Something sold. Hell yeah. Money. 40 mil. Alright, that's covering my enhancing for today. Now, the problem is, what stack do I use? I kinda don't really want to use the 62 on, uh, on try. Alright, I think we have another stack we could just, uh, start working on try on. Until we get to another 62 stack, and then one day I'll start going full tilt and just slamming 60s for try. Not great, but we'll start. Uh, dude. <laughs> just use the lowest one I have, 39. Glad I didn't use that one. One oh six stack. I would highly recommend most people stop at a hundred if you actually need the stacks. In my case, I do not need the stacks. Or my Mystic could just be at Karanda. That's cool, too. <laughs> okay. Well. I guess we're riding back. I forgot I parked some bot or characters at various bosses. I do need to buy a... Uh, tier 8 Courser at some point because we're going to try to go for Doom Horse throughout the year. And we'll have another Dream Horse. I actually have no idea what skills you need to have a Courser. Like, I could Google it, but I'm just lazy. The only way I know if you use the Courser is does it have a yellow golden thingy hold on yeah I don't I don't actually know what you need I might just buy one 700 mil for a tier 8 courser kind of expensive but whatever I heard a ding. I think the Renaro's ring sold. Yeah, buddy. Money. For the record, I don't know why people are buying Renaro's rings. If you're doing it to make Kaposha, I don't think that's worth it, to be honest. Just throwing that out there. And if you're making like, Renaro's rings to enhance, some reason I would just say buy them. I did put the dim tree in my storage, right? What is that worth? One billion? Yikes. Back two years ago, going for Tet, I would start at fifty and go all the way. 
Nowadays, it's like start at 70 and go to 120. Would not recommend it for newer players. Or actually anyone. That's just how I enhance. Now the question is, if this goes Tet, um, do I want to hold on to it and just uh, Kron them? I'm not sure. All my Kron attempts will be on this one. Um... Okay, well, didn't even go up. Feels bad. stack I would actually probably go uh, go for a tet tree on a 111 to be honest it's not the greatest feeling Out of durability. Uh oh. Oh my. Tekton is sleeping, I think. That's okay. I'm pretty sure I'm like Owen. Like 40 for Tet Tree attempts from all my videos throughout last year as well. Why do I have Fisher's clothes on this character? What? Yeah, why do I have Fisher's clothes on this character? Why is it? Oh, wait. Ah, I forgot my lawn is my fishing. Yeah, okay, I'm stupid. is fine. I'm used to failing in this game. Trying to describe BDO enhancing to people who don't play this game is kind of funny. Uh, Alright, time to go make a few stacks. <laughs> Look at those fail stacks. I'm scared at one point or like one day in the future, I'm just going to have such a bad luck streak enhancing. All my characters are going to be full of, like, random stuff. I'm going to be like, uh-oh. That's not good. Alrighty. Uh, sure. Do 
Do I trust the 20 click on a tree? Kind of want to go 25. I really think this is going to go duo, which is going to bother me a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. It's like a one in four. Please fail. Oh, it's fine. 23 is good. One and four. I don't really trust this one. Ah, it went up. Nice. Easy. I just want a tet tree so I could think about what to do with it. Like, real talk. I don't know. Well, once I get a tet tree, I'll think about it. Do I just want to cron that one or just pen click it? That feels bad. It's always a scary click for me. Honestly, I don't even think enhancing heave is good anymore after everyone else does it. Streamers do it all day. I, I just want my own pen heave helm and would rather not spend four billion on it. But, yeah. I kind of want to make my own, just to have my name tag on it. Don't really want to pay three bill for it, though. Why? <laughs> Alright, well that's enough enhancing tree today. We're gonna do something else. Um, Could see how far we can get with the fluid collector without... Actually, you know what's gonna be fun? Yeah, we'll do a fluid collector today. All right, if this 70% goes up, we might have some good luck. If it fails, we might have bad luck. All right. Let's see, 11% on a one stack. That is such a weird number. Let's 
see if we can get this to like plus 13 or something. force this? I didn't even know you can force Monos. Literally one in three. Okay. One and five. Okay, game. I just want to make some fail stacks, not hit duo on one stack. I would, like, repair my heave if the vendor was not sleeping. Eight percent. Ugh, I don't like those odds. I don't really like twenty two either. What is the force? Sixty durability. That's like hitting it on a fourteen stack or fourteen tries. It's so like a one in six. We're in a dilemma right now because we don't really have anything to click. Well, this is weird. We'll get that to pry at some point. What do you even click on a 35? <laughs> I don't even have any extra boss pieces, so. Okay, dude. It's four in the morning and it's like sunny outside. Um, I'd be a little bit concerned. No! What are you doing? 5 a.m. Is he the only one that sells the uh, blacksmith, like the fail stack books? I don't really buy them often, but... I think I might keep my Kuno as my dedicated fail stacker, so I might have to stop buying them. You. 
What the heck? Roll dice. Let's go use energy. Hmm. Yeah, no gear here that I would click a 35 on either. Worth. Not worth. Man, they really do need to adjust the night vendor prices for things. Because, like, I've honestly... The only things I buy from night vendor these days are black stones. And I rarely do that. Yeah, anyway, I think I'm out for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.